Hi guys, welcome back to the walkthrough video for Two Hallucinations, the game. I actually did the first part of the walkthrough a few months ago, but it's only now that I am gonna continue it, so sorry about that, but I hope you checked out the game, or you will check out the game. Uh, so this video is gonna be full of spoilers, so I suggest that you just go to my uh, Patreon site and uh, uh, support me with any amount and you'll get the download links for the game. So thanks for your support and uh, let's continue our journey to La Chirera. As we strode along the white path for Trocha, I felt my spirits rise. At last we had put all the encumbering obstacles behind us. Only Solo remained to plague me. I decided I was going to have to burst his bubble. Relations inside our group were becoming too odd. Solo was doing things. I finally came to understand that he was probably going to kill me and was most likely completely deranged. I recall John Wayne's observation that a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. At this thought, I seized the moment and stopped on the trail and observed out loud that Solo was the world's most outrageous jackass. In other words, I just pitched the shit straight into the fan. For a moment it looked like we were going to punch each other out right there. Vanessa began yelling and shoving. Vitoto bearers were standing around open mouthed. The incident ended as a standoff, but as the day wore on Solo decided to turn back. He had no money and he was in a terrific, terrific pain because of an abscess tooth. There was no reason for him to be there. While camping, Solo came to me and explained that he did not have enough money to get back up river. He offered me a kilo of his own crop and I jumped at the chance to pay him a hundred dollars. When we broke camp he was already gone. Okay. Yeah, I know it's a little bit odd that I'm narrating this so I suggest that you just get the game and uh, and read the lines in your own pace and it's much more fun that way anyway we would get up at 4.30 4 in the morning have coffee and walk 25 kilometers until about 3.30 in the afternoon it was, it was an ass buster absolutely <clears throat> Well, you can try this bridge, but you can't cross it. So this is the way to go. You probably noticed the mushrooms there, but um, you can't actually go up there. It's just, I just put it there for fun. Well, there's a mushroom, but it doesn't look right. Doesn't look like one you should eat. That's not the kind of mushroom we're looking for. Oops, and here comes our first mission. A blue morpho butterfly. I must catch it. So at this point you get a butterfly net. Yeah, sorry about that, I, I had to restart. For some reason there was no sound for when I used the butterfly net. You know, I made this game alone uh, and it has its issues. Uh, I'm just really glad that I was able to make a version that you can play through uh, without any major bugs. But uh, for example, right now, for some reason, there's no sound when I use the butterfly net. I'm not sure why that is. Um, and there's the butterfly we need to catch. So actually, you just need to press uh, space or enter. Okay, so let's try to let's try to catch this butterfly. Yeah, this is the easiest one. Later in the game, there it's gonna be it's gonna become much more difficult. Okay, so we got one butterfly. 
And there, there are some mushrooms up there, there as well. Still not the kind of mushroom we're looking for. Okay, so let's continue. And here we are. Finally, we arrived. La Chorrera is a paradisiacal place. You push very hard and suddenly you are there. There are no stinging or biting insects. In the evening, mist drifts across a large pasture, creating a beautiful pastoral scene. There is the mission, the foam flag dig below, jungle surrounding, and much to my surprise, white cattle. Oh, you can see there are some Indians here. You can talk to them. Welcome to La Terrera. Behave yourselves. Let's go inside. Welcome to La Terrera, strangers. You can hang your hammocks in the farthest house in the village, near the pastures. Don't cause any trouble. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so you can't actually go forward before uh, checking the the cattle, which is in, which is this way. Now that's a huge mushroom. So there's a huge mushroom and. This is the first time that Terence is gonna have a, an experience with this kind of substance. Finally, this is a perfect specimen of psilocybin cubensis, and it's the size of a dinner plate. I can feel it already. I can't walk into the town like this. My god, that was amazing. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I eat more, which is something that we're gonna experience later. Okay, so we had our first experience. Now we can find our little hut. There's more of La Terrera. There's the school. There's also an Indian. <laughs> he has a radio. More Indians, more buildings. Playground. Children. Itio which means uh, hello in Vitoto and we're staying in this house how cozy well we won't be inside it too much anyway <laughs> okay so do you notice there's uh, itching coins I placed each in coins, uh, I think, uh, in three different places throughout the game. Uh, it's always operating in the same way. You think about a question and then you throw it. So, okay, so that's for the itching. Uh, my question if, if it makes sense that I do these videos or. Uh, is there any point to making uh, these videos? And my hexagram is GM, obstruction. 
obstruction, the southwest furthers, the northeast does not further. It furthers one to see the great man. Perseverance brings good fortune. Water on the mountain, the image of obstruction. Thus the superior man turns his attention to himself and more to himself and molds his character. In the course of trying to reach a goal or fulfill an ambition, temporary obstacles will invariably present themselves. This is not always a bad thing. A positive aspect of even the most difficult stumbling block is that it can cause a person to turn inward, gaining greater depth of character and self-knowledge. While the ignorant bemoan their fate and seek to blame their problems on others, the, the wise always look to see if the cause of the problem is within themselves. Well, I know that to be true. Okay, so there's a chest up there. Let's see what's inside. Cameras, formaldehyde, insect repellent, chloroquine, mosquito nets, hammocks, binoculars, tape recorders, granola, peanut butter, a copy of Finnegan's Wake, and dope. All the things one must have to go into the Amazon Basin. Again, these are all from, straight from the book. And here are notebooks. I think this one is Terence's. In the pastures around us are dozens of mushrooms. After examining several, my brother concurred, pronounced them the same Sofaria cubensis we had found before, one of the largest, strongest, and certainly the most widely distributed of any of the known psilocybin containing mushrooms. What to do? And this one is Dennis's notebook. Last night I again triggered the phenomenon after having eaten one mushroom and some mo and smoking grass. It was almost identical to the first experience. A lifting, pulsing wave of vocal buzzing growing loud very quickly and picking up shock energy as it did so. Though I could have prolonged the sound beyond the brief burst, I did not because of the energy. I am certain that soon it will become possible to trigger the sound completely without tritamines or other drugs. It is becoming easier to plug in on each time. I feel now that it is accessible at any time. Okay, so let's start to explore the surrounding area. Uh, so this, this is the way we came from. And as you can see, there are plenty of paths to take, but I actually wrote the game so that you have to go in a chronological order. So this is where we start. Are we indeed now in some way camped on the edge of another dimension? They've discovered Sofaria Cubensis near the house we moved into. With great excitement, I agreed to gather 50 mushrooms. All day I was suffused with contentment. I knew only that the mushroom was the best hallucinogen I had ever had and that it had a quality of aliveness I had never known before. It seemed to open doorways into places I had assumed would always be closed to me because of my insistence on analysis and realism. Let's talk to this guy. You're looking for mushrooms, huh? The pasture is full of them. It's really near. Just walk south. That's a lot of cows. In cow dung, it grows. Hmm. Okay. Let's get our 50 mushrooms. So, same with the butterfly net. You just uh, use uh, the space for enter button. And you can gather mushrooms. I'm gonna stop talking now.
there's somewhere a huge amount of mushrooms in a small area. I think right somewhere around here, yeah. So it just occur. Okay, seven more. Okay, one more mushroom and we are gonna have the 50. Okay, I gathered 50 specimens of Sufaria cubensis. It's time. One hour later. Okay, so the madness begins. My god, it's truly coming on strong. Yeah, sorry about the glitches, uh, actually if you play the game you shouldn't experience any, but I'm recording the screen and it sort of uh, slows down the whole laptop, so sorry about that. I'm, I'm just gonna keep uh, walking, <laughs> uh, but you can, you know, if you play the game you can stop anywhere and just explore the, the things, the experience. Like you can just walk back and, and mess around with these lights. mushrooms or something like that. <laughs> Things are gonna get crazy and crazier as we move on. Killed by cow farts. <laughs> well, nobody said life wasn't fraught with peril, right? <laughs> is happening what? So this is where time sort of flows backwards or forwards and we see a bunch of clones of all Terrans 
mixing with the undertones. You can see it's really silly game at, at times. But I hope you can tell that I had a great time making this. Okay, now what's happening here? <laughs> You're just gonna have to find your way. And that's it for the first trip. The next day. That was very peculiar. <laughs> As we were tripping, Dennis gave forth a very machine-like loud dry buzz, during which his body became stiff. After a moment's silence, he broke into a frightened series of excited questions such as what happened, and most memorably, I don't want to become a giant insect. Then he said that there was a tremendous energy in the sound and that he had felt it like a physical force of some kind. So, should we continue or should I stop now? Um, I, I, I think this is gonna do for part two, I think. Um, let's pick up from here next time. Um, I'm wondering if anybody is watching at this point, but thanks so much, and uh, I hope you just get the game yourself and play it, because I don't think this is very entertaining this way, um, but uh, thanks for watching my videos, and I hope you check out my new album uh, on Spotify or Apple Music or wherever, um, thanks for watching. Bye.